Welcome back to the Seamer Duncan Convertible Preamp Module Series. Today's episode number four, we're going to be discussing the EQ modules. As far as I know, there was only a classic EQ module and a high gain EQ module. And they both have four bands of active EQ. The four bands are centered around 200, 750, 2K, and 5K. And I found with these modules, you can really dial in your, your sound. Uh, you can really tweak it exactly how you want it. Um, so I think they were probably a good idea. I, I like having the classic EQ in my amp. This is what I normally have in my amp. Now, what I find really interesting is the way that they constructed these things. Here's the schematic. It shows the, um, the whole preamp, I'm sorry, the whole active EQ that's inserted in the circuit. The, the, nor the classic and the high gain circuit's essentially the same but this EQ circuit is inserted into the circuit. Um, and I'm not sure if it's like in between stages or before or after. I haven't actually figured that out, but it's a pretty handy module to have. Now, the way, I, the way they're constructed I thought was pretty fascinating. Of course, this one has the factory supplied tube shield on it being high gain, they wanted to prevent noise. This just has little knobs that you can pull out. And of course remove the two screws from here. And voila! You have a main circuit board with a daughter board on top of it, which is the active preamp, or EQ I mean. I keep calling these things a preamp, it's an EQ. You can see they're kind of soldered on there in four places with these little posts. So right here you're looking at the active EQ section. You used a TLO 74 quad op amp and a TLO say was that an 82 a TLO 82 dual op amp. So basically you've got six op amp stages going on in here. And uh, I thought it was pretty clever engineering to squeeze all that stuff into this little module. Now you'll notice that this one is a different build quality too. The, the, uh, the PCBs are much more professional looking than the earlier modules. Like for example this module here, this one looks rather crude in comparison. This one looks kind of more like the PCBs you're used to seeing these days in electronics. So that's it for the EQ modules. That's pretty much all there is to discuss about it. Otherwise, I mean, they're the same classic and uh, high gain. It's the same circuit. They've just inserted this four band EQ into it. Now, as far as availability of, things, availability of these things, they're really hard to find. The, the, this one here, this high gain, if I remember correctly, oh no, it was the other one, the classic. My, so my classic EQ module, when I got it, it was not working. And I got it for a really good price because it wasn't working. And I, I immediately thought, oh heck, I can fix that. It's probably just a dead op amp, so that's what I did. I took the daughter board off, desoldered the both of the op amps, put a socket in there, and uh, you know, voila, it worked. Now I noticed that this one came from the factory with a PCB, I mean an IC socket. So at some point they, they changed that to be a socket versus being soldered right to the board. Probably because they had, you know, these things were dying on people and 
they, you couldn't just send it to them and you know they could fix it by popping a new IC chip so they probably got smart and said let's just socket these things so anyways that's it for the EQ modules stay tuned for episode 5